Welcome to Hot Mom Center Club. Today is Christmas Eve and Mike, Maddie and I are going to do a low country smoke. We're basically doing a low country boil, but we're smoking it instead of boiling it. So we're going to take the baby potatoes, the corn, the onions, some shrimp, crab legs and kielbasa sausage. And we're going to smoke it on the smoker. I'm going to have a basting liquid. We're going to kind of marinate everything in the basting liquid before it goes on the smoker. And then we'll also baste it uh, throughout the smoke. And like I mentioned, we're going to throw in the crab legs too, just because it's Christmas. We wanted to make it a little extra special. So we're going to add crab legs as well to our low country smoke. I'm also going to make some roasted garlic butter bread. So I've got a baguette here. I already uh, chopped it up. We're going to use these little crostinis uh, for Christmas Eve. We've got some meatballs and we're going to make some roasted garlic butter crostinis for the meatballs. And then I've got the larger pieces here. I'm going to do a roasted garlic butter for these. That's going to kind of give us some bread to go with our low country smoke. I'm going to show you how to make the roasted garlic butter first. And then tomorrow we're going to make the rest of it. Since it's Christmas, we won't have a whole lot of commentary. We'll just give you a lot of videos. It's very simple. We're just going to put the marinade on everything. And I'm just going to put it on the smoker in timely fashion based on what takes the longest to cook and what is uh, the quickest to cook. So obviously we'll start with our potatoes. We'll move on to the corn, the onions. Uh, then we'll throw on the sausage, the crab legs, and the shrimps kind of kind of go on last. And then I'll probably just cook the bread in uh, the oven because that's going to be uh, quite a load on our smoker with all that going on. Leftover basting liquid, I'm just going to kind of uh, compound with the butter and that's going to be our sauce to kind of dip everything in. Instead of just straight drawn butter, we're going to add all that flavor that we use from our basting liquid. I've got some stock going right now. That's going to chill overnight. I'm going to strain the, the fat off the top of that tomorrow. And then I'm going to add in my uh, seasonings, uh, some Old Bay, some garlic, some, uh, some other seasonings to that. That'll be our basting liquid. I'll show you that uh, tomorrow. So meanwhile, I'm going to get the uh, garlic in the oven roasting for our roasted garlic butter. So first of all, I just kind of removed off any excess loose skin. Then I'm just going to take this, cut the top of it off. I'm going to drizzle it with some olive oil, some salt and pepper. You can also sprinkle some other uh, seasonings on this if you want. But since we're going to put it in the butter, I'm just going to leave it with just olive oil, salt and pepper because we're going to put some Italian seasoning and Parmesan in the butter mix. This is going to roast in the oven and it's going to roast for about 50 minutes to an hour. And then when we take it out, we're just going to be able to squeeze it right out. In the meantime, while that's in the oven baking, I've got my butter softening up here. So that's going to soften up. And when this garlic comes out, it's going to be nice and tender. We're just going to squeeze it out into our butter to make our roasted garlic butter. I'm just going to fold this up. I'm just going to cook it right in the foil pouch. I'll pop it in the oven for almost an hour. So our garlic came out of the oven. So we're going to start uh, by whipping our butter. It's already softened. Should be pretty easy to whip. Plus once we add the hot garlic in there, that'll really help as well. I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of mayonnaise. Actually, I think I'm just going to add one big one. A little bit of the ground Parmesan. Fresh Parmesan would be really nice with this as well. I'm going to do the Italian seasoning. And a little bit of paprika. Paprika is just for color. Plus, I always think about it uh, when I do, uh, you know, seafood and the lobster and the butter and the crab legs and everything. Usually, they always have a touch of paprika. So, we're just going to keep some paprika in here as well. And then, we're going to squeeze out this garlic. And these cloves are just going to pop right out into here. I used unsalted butter too, so I'm going to add a little bit of uh, salt and pepper into here. And mix all that up. Now that we've got this all mixed and incorporated really well, I'm going to actually put it in to chill a little bit before I spread it on the bread. And uh, we'll cook our bread for our low country smoke tomorrow. basting liquid ready to go so as I mentioned yesterday I made some chicken broth 
uh, homemade chicken stock. I'm going to add in that a couple cups of that. I have more. I can always add more if we need it. I got some Old Bay seasoning. Basically, we're going to put a lot of the same stuff that we would in the uh, country boil. I'm just going to put it into this basting liquid. Got a little bit more paprika. And then I'm also going to add in some bay leaves. There is a lot of celery seed already in the Old Bay, but I'm still going to put a little bit more uh, celery seed in it. I almost contemplating putting celery in the whole on the whole thing, but I skipped it. But I do want to get some of that celery flavor, so I'll put some celery seed in there. A little bit of dill. We're going to put a little bit of hot sauce and a little bit of onion powder. We're going to keep ours pretty mild though because we do have our five-year-old. So we're not going to spice it up. Mike and I can always add extra after it's cooked. All right, we're just going to let that simmer for a bit. And then we're going to get our potatoes marinating. All right, so I'm going to get everything prepped up for this. I've got to shuck my corn. I've already washed my baby red potatoes. Uh, we're going to char off some lemons too, just to kind of serve on the side um, to put with our, uh, with our butter that we're making using the leftover basting liquid. We've got our kielbasa sausage here. I'm going to julienne some onions, real thick wedges on the onions. I've got some shrimp here. I uh, got a great deal on this Easy Pill shrimp. So uh, make sure you don't get a fully peeled shrimp. You want the peel still on the shrimp. But I did find these easy peels, so they will be easy to peel after they are cooked. They've already kind of been serrated and, uh, and cleaned up a bit. Um, also, we got these giant jumbo crab legs. So I'm thinking these crab legs are going to take about uh, at least 30 minutes, if not 40 minutes. So we're going to throw on our uh, potatoes first, followed by the corn and the onions then the crab legs, and then we'll probably put the sausage on. And the shrimp's just going to kind of go on maybe the last 15 minutes because it won't take long at all to cook. I'm going to put all the vegetables into that liquid that we made before it goes on the smoker just to get some juice in there and get some flavor in there. That's also what's going to season all this. I'm going to add some salt and pepper to that as well before I place all the vegetables in there. <laughs> Little deal. Rotate these. That's down. good. Oh. Look at that. got your last base on there I'm gonna reduce it down and I'm gonna whisk in the cold butter okay. so I have the uh, bread with the roasted garlic butter that we made yesterday I had it in the freezer overnight so that's going in the oven the low country smoke is almost ready so I brought this back up to a boil and uh, reduce it down it's almost down to the very bottom I'm going to uh, pop out the bay leaves and I'm gonna whisk in one stick of cold butter I also added some, a little bit more uh, salt and pepper to this because my butter that I use is unsalted. Also that homemade chicken broth that I made was unsalted. So if you have 
uh, canned chicken broth and salted butter, be careful about your salt, but we're using unsalted on both, so I did add a little bit of salt to this. I'm going to remove the bay leaves and start whisking in the butter. I'm also going to take it off the heat to whisk in the butter. Hot, Hot Mom's, Mom's Dinner, Dinner Club! Club.